Hi guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be taking a look at the iPod Touch first generation. The original iPod was released back in 2001, but the Touch edition came out in 2007, um, a few months after the original iPhone. Um, the box came in three flavors. I do have the Marcy Gray edition here um, in the 16 gigabyte capacity. It came in 8 and 16 gigs. Here's a side view of the box. As you can see, it just says iPod Touch in a reflective uh, text. Uh, your storage capacity, the side of the iPod, and on the bottom is the storage capacity again. On the back, you have all the specs and uh, you know what it requires, um, iTunes wise and um, operating system wise. Uh, on the bottom here, you can see all the serial number and model number information as well as copyright 2007 Apple Incorporated. Funny little side note is it does say Mac OS. Opening it up here you can see the iPod is laying right there greeting you. You can see here it is. Put that aside and removing this plastic uh, tray here you can find the instruction booklet. I don't have the charger or anything with this, so it is just the instruction booklet. There's the quick start guide, the warranty information, Apple stickers, and uh, this piece of paper there. I'm not really sure what that's for. This is the quick start guide, which you can have a look through, uh, pause the video if you want to. Um, yeah, shows you how to use the iPod. Here it is turning on. Now unlike newer versions of iOS, it launches straight into the home screen rather than the lock screen, which I thought was pretty interesting. On the back we have a very reflective fingerprint magnet and this also scratches very easy. A stainless steel back. Um, you've got your storage capacity there as well. On the bottom we have the 30 pin dock connector and headphone jack. On the side we have nothing, on the side we also have nothing but the little antenna at the top. On the top we do have a power button which is in the on the wrong side and the Wi-Fi antenna plate and there's no Bluetooth in this so it's only Wi-Fi. The iPod Touch first generation does not feature a speaker so it instead has a little vibrate motor or something, um, something along those lines that creates sound for the key presses and lock uh, sounds. Jumping into settings here you can see that we are running iOS 2.2.1 and uh, it's 16 gigs. You can also see that there's some songs on here, um, 146 of them many which include Rihanna, Katy Perry, and a few other songs. So all the apps uh, preloaded are standard for the iOS version, this is or iPhone OS version. Um, but the YouTube app doesn't work as YouTube's changed the way that their videos are played. So you'll just get this one that has um, an error and says you need to update. Um, but you can see here that the previous owner has bookmarked uh, one YouTube video, which he did so in 2007, so quite a long time ago. The App Store does work, but the Featured section will just crash the app. As this is so out of date, you can see that pretty much everything won't install unless you go via iTunes and download something that is compatible with the version of iOS you're running. Um, as you can see, the featured section will just crash the app. Same here with the iTunes Store, um, except you can download music because it doesn't matter what version of iOS or iPhone OS you're running, you can download music, but the featured section will crash the app. Another quick note here, you can see the time on the box it says 9.42, whereas all of my other Apple boxes or my other iPhone boxes here they all say 941, which was the time that the original iPhone was released, 941. But this iPod Touch 
box says 942. So I'm not sure if that's, you know, maybe when the iPod Touch was released, but it seems awfully close that it doesn't really make any sense to me. Maybe it's just a misprint or whatever. I'm not too sure. But you can see that it is quite a lot thinner than the original iPhone. Um, that's because it doesn't have a speaker or uh, volume rockers, cellular connectivity, SIM cards. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that it is missing out on. Um, on the back here, you can see the antenna on the iPhone is at the bottom, whereas it's at the top uh, left on the iPod. Also, the iPod does not feature a camera, so uh, no photos on that. You can see here that it is quite a bit thinner and also shorter. The home button on the iPod Touch is also slightly smaller than the original iPhone. Turning them both on, you can see that the screens are almost identical and the functionality of both devices is very similar, except for the obvious differences such as the camera and the voice memos um, and the phone, obviously. As you can see here, it is the exact same f thickness of an iPhone 5. So basically this iPod Touch is pretty good for music, which I guess is what it's designed for. You can still browse the internet, although it's very slow and not very stable. Um, but if you want this, you know, maybe go in your car or whatever, um, it'll work just fine. Just plug it in with your 3.5mm headphone jack or 30 pin cable, it doesn't really matter. And you can get the audio out of it to put into your car, stereo, or wherever you're going to use this. Um, so that's pretty much a look at the iPod Touch first generation. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys next time in another one of my great videos.